Good morning. Today, Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control finds itself in Georgetown, Ontario. And we've come up into this attic where the homeowner was complaining of noises and scratching in their attic. This is a roof vent right here that the raccoon has torn right open. Metal, metal roof vent. No problem for a, a full grown raccoon to tear open. And she's come into this attic and she's, as you can see, done quite a bit of damage. There's a latrine, whole pile of feces over there. Urine and feces and everywhere. These fiberglass bats used to be probably well up to here. Code is R50 now. And this raccoon has trampled it down to just about nothing in some places. So this attic has to be completely gutted, taking all this de uh, contaminated insulation out. We're gonna decontaminate it and then top them up to R50 with some new cellulose insulation. But first things first, we have to get the mom and the babies out of here. So I was taking a look around and I found a litter of baby raccoons. So if you wanna follow me over here. At first glance, this, this looks like just the same as everywhere else. Everything's just torn up, can't hear any noises. But when you start turning over the insulation, you'll see we have a litter of baby raccoons right here. And I haven't uh, seen the mum yet, so I don't know where she is, so I'm a little bit cautious right now. But I'm going to Pull these guys out first and then we will find the mom wherever she's hiding. I see six so far. <laughs> this is going to be more or less useless for me. They've got pretty good grip even at this age. One, we're gonna put them in this bag and then take them outside. And we have a heated box that we're gonna put them in, keep them warm until mom comes, until we get mom out. Two, three, four, Five, six, <laughs> all snuggled up.